Hello everybody, I am Shaleen of the Color in Book Nook. And tonight is some Happy Mail and Adult Mad Libs. This channel is for adults no, only. Book Nook. It is made for adults and I am an adult. If you are under 18, I ask you to please leave now. Sorry, but those are the rules. I also have five cats and a dog, a dog you might hear just up and bark and scare the shit out of us. And you may see a cat or two. Can't do anything about that, that's real life. You may also hear my husband, he's home, he swears when he gets upset. You may hear him swearing at the TV. Now, hello Elizabeth, hello Robin, and hello Jody. How is everybody? Hi Dawn, I got Mad Libs, hi Rose, I bought four Mad Libs, I would have bought more but you know, <laughs> funds are a little short right now, <laughs> husband was, you are new here, I was going to say I don't remember seeing you before. <clears throat> Just my phone kept going off, so just checking it. So I'll wait a little bit. Guess what? You already got your diamond painting. And what do you think, Jody? Hi, Laura. Jody has been diamond painting. Well, now that you're diamond painting, we also have to bring you onto the dark side. And you need to get yourself. Where is it? <laughs> I knew you would, Jody. I knew it. <laughs> now you need to get yourself a pretty diamond pen, a drill pen. Yep. Need to get yourself a nice, pretty little drill pen. Because guess what? That's what Justin wants now. Justin texted me this morning and said, Mom, I'm going to Joanne's. I'm going to go find me a, a drill pen like you have. And I laughed at him and I said, um, Joanne's doesn't sell them, honey. They only sell diamond dots, paint diamond paintings. They don't sell the drill pens. You have to go on Etsy. And I told them what shops to buy from. Hi, who else came in? Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Kim. Guess what, Kim? I was cleaning today because I finished Jessica Rabbit. And after I finished Jessica Rabbit, I was like, I need to... Um, hold on. I need to seal some of my other ones. So I sealed three of them, which was the wolf, um, happy guy, and nightmare before Christmas. So after I did that, now that they're sealed, I don't need the drills. So I knew Kim wanted all the drills from the kits. So I've been bagging them up. I'm not doing them by separate color, just color groups. So I have like, this is like a turquoise and it's got a hitchhiker in there. But I did it like in greens and purples with pinks and grays, different shades of grays. So how do you seal? I bought Mod Podge Glitter. And um, you water it down a little bit. Um, Amber said when she watched the video, the person would dip the brush in the Mod Podge and then dip it in water and then um, seal it. So when I get some more, I have like two or three more that I need to seal. As soon as those are sealed, then I will put more in these. And I think Catherine's sending me stuff, too, to add to this. 
Otherwise, she'll mail them to you, too. But I know you said dump them all in one bag and you guys would sort them out. And I said, no, that's a pain in the ass. I mean, this still might be a pain, but at least they're by color. So, yeah. Hi, Cher. How are you? So, yep. Yeah, I'll show you, Robin. I bought this from Amazon. It's Mod Podge Sparkle. Now, the one Amber bought was Mod Podge Extreme Glitter or something like that, and she loves it. But it's Mod Podge Glitter, or Sparkle, mine is. And I just dip the brush in it, and then I have a bowl of water, and I dip it in water, and um, you put it on. So, yeah, that's how you do that. And I guess it takes 24 hours for it to cure, which means dry all the way. You have the extreme glitter. Yeah. Hi, Mystical. Mystical. I watched one of your videos today, too. So, yeah, so that's what I did. And then I just washed my brush so I can reuse it. I used a cheap brush. But Amber used the Extreme Glitter, and she loves how hers came out. And you just do a thin layer. You don't need a lot. But, yeah, it brings out the shine a little bit more on your diamonds. Yes, Miss Pearl. So, yeah, so I did those three. They are drying in the other room with the door closed. And once they're dry tomorrow morning, because it said 24 hours. So I figured tomorrow morning you use aqua glue. Hi, Cindy. Yeah, I've heard of the aqua glue also. So um, it dries clear because we've already d tried it on two of them of Amber's the other day. So, once those three are dry in the other room, then tomorrow I'm going to do Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> wow, Dawn. Well, I guess maybe you should ask for one for your birthday. <laughs> Jody, the best thing that I can tell you is to watch Stitcherista. She teaches cheap ways to frame these. Um, who else? Um, Mrs. Coffee, of course. So, and I think there was someone else I watched. But, I, you know, that's where I got all my ideas from. And then, um, what else would you need? Depends how you're going to frame it. Yes, Jeannie. Well, I didn't babysit, and I wasn't feeling good. And when I don't feel good, I don't want to color because it's too much thinking. And with the diamond painting, there isn't really any thinking. You just look at what color diamond you're doing with the symbol and the symbol on the canvas. So, you know, it's really easy. Lisa's coloring corner, what about her? Oh, she has a video on sealing and framing? Really? I'll have to go check that out. I'm sure there's different ways of sealing. I just did this way that I saw and it worked for me. I may try another kind of sealing. I know, Jody, right? I told you it was easy. <laughs> I told you you would like it. <laughs> I know, I didn't think I would like it. And when Laura did her first live stream, she's like, Do you, don't you have one? I said, you yeah, have two of them. I'm not interested. And she made me pull it out. Hi, Nika. You don't frame yours? That's, yeah, mystical. A lot of them don't frame them. They put them in a portfolio or they put them in a drawer, you know, or you hang them up in the closet. Like I, this closet has like, a suit, a three-piece suit, and Scott's work jeans in it. So I have plenty of room that I can hang my, I can hang them. Oh, Cindy, it's really, really easy. 
<laughs> I'm sh I'm, I know there's there's videos out there how to how to diamond paint. It's so easy. It even when you get the kit, it has instructions. It is it's just so easy. All you're going to do is you're going to put some wax in the pen. You're going to pick up a drill of the symbol that you need to put on the canvas and you plop it down. It's done. And I just watched a video. Whose was it? Hold on. I will tell you. Oh, this is Pearl. She has Maine Coon in her. Oh, I got another message. Oh, I'll read it later. So, I have to tell you, I had an issue. Hold on. It's not that one. Diamond Painting Dreamer. Diamond Painting Dreamer has a YouTube channel. <clears throat> she just put up a video that she is giving away a $65 gift certificate to Treasure Art Studios. Go check it out. Thank you, Cindy. You have a 101 beginner video? I didn't realize that either. I didn't realize it or I didn't need to watch it. Uh, yeah, Jody, Justin did it. You saw him do it in my live stream last night. He's hooked. <clears throat> He's hooked. So, anyways, my Jessica Rabbit, I had a lot of issues with it. I don't know why. I did Happy Guy that was from Diamond Art Club. Never had an issue with that. Everybody loves Diamond Art Club. Never have an issue. So I finished Jessica Rabbit, but there were five small areas, not big areas, just like maybe little areas with maybe 10 diamonds you had to put down that was missing the glue. So the first two little areas I used super glue because that's all I had in the house. So I let Diamond Art Club know and they said next time, you know, if that ever happens to use the Mod Podge. So that's why I bought that. So, you know, and I didn't get to the first part until I was a quarter done. Then I got to the halfway mark and I was getting more part, more of it. Hi, Norwegian colorista. <laughs> oh, you were kitty cat in color before. Are you going to be making videos again? I miss you. So... And then there was two or three spots where the pla when you pull the plastic up, it, it wouldn't come off. It stuck to it, and I had to pull it with the tweezers. So when I was all done, I let them know, you know, I had an issue with the canvas, you know, and, and I was showing it on my, on my channel, and the, um, I do the reviews on my channel. I said I still enjoyed the canvas. My my painting still came out beautiful. You can't tell that I had to use the glue or anything. So they emailed me back and said that I must have gotten a fluke. I should have told them right off the bat, which I did tell them when I was a quarter of the way through. But they said that they would have replaced it. And I said it was fine. You know, I just wanted them to know. And they sent me a gift card. So, I was very surprised. I was not expecting that. I just wanted them to know that somebody needs to check quality control. <laughs> I don't know, Jody. Let's see. In real life, I got Catherine, Justin, Dylan, and Amber. So, that's for Owen, oh, my sister. And I bought one for my mom, and I don't think she's tried it yet. And how many in my videos, I, I don't remember. <laughs> Top 10 Island video. So are you, so are you are you making it under this new this new name of Norwegian Colorista? Is that your new channel name? Are you the same channel or you just changed it? Oh no, it says I'm subscribed to you. 
It says, okay. You know what? I didn't realize that was you. And so I didn't unsubscribe, but I think I deleted it. Oh, no, this is six months ago is the last time you made a video. Never mind. <laughs> I will look forward to it. Just change the name. Well, I will look forward to your channels. Are you going to do live streams again? Because your live streams are so much fun. Yeah, I forgot, Robin, you had that going on yesterday. and <coughs> So, yeah, so when I got done with Jessica Rabbit, and I finished reading a book today and started another one, I cleaned off this whole desk. <laughs> Hi, Selena. Hi, Jeremy. So, yep, I am... Um, I cleaned up this whole table. I organized. My room's still a mess. My my floor is. <clears throat> I have stacks of coloring books. I still want to do flip throughs. I am praying to God that I feel good tomorrow. Because every time I plan, I'm sitting down and, uh, yeah, I, I, something goes wrong. So I plan on making videos all day tomorrow while reading. Oh, okay. Well, congratulations. Oh, Nika, I'm sorry. Well, congratulations, Norwegian colory stuff. That is cool. Oh, you treated yourself, Robin? <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, I'll show you some happy mail. So I did, I can't remember if I showed you any of these books I got from Hatchet, which is the forever. And so this one came yesterday. I can't see anything, Pearl. So this one came yesterday. Whoa, got real dizzy there for a minute. Mermaid Inn by Jenny Holiday. And then the past couple weeks I've gotten books, but I can't remember if I showed them. I got Cowboy Courage by Carolyn Brown. This is the newest book of her series. I have Justified by Jay Crownover. Look at the abs. There you go. <laughs> A Christmas Bride by Hope Ramsey. And this was on... Hallmark movie channel, but I can't it was this wasn't the name of the Hallmark movie It was called something else on the Hallmark channel and then forever strong by Piper J. Drake So yep Some romance to throw in with my suspense. Oh stop it, Laura <laughs> Hi, Brian. <laughs> yes, Laura doesn't like the girly books. I like the girly books mixed in with my murder mysteries and paranormal. <laughs> oh, I like my murder mysteries, too. I read J.D. Robb. I read Mary Higgins Clark. I, lead, I like... James Patterson. I like a lot of those, but I like these too. Yes, I did, Robin. <laughs> and that and then this week I got another Diamond Art Club because I had credit. <clears throat> He's never around, Laura. <laughs> so I got Enchanted. I don't know if, how well you can see it. Anyways, this is... I did a video of unboxing this. So you can see it in my video. But, yep, I got this. And this one is 93 by 55. And it's got ABs. So that's the new one.
Oh, I don't, I, it seems like I read that one, Elizabeth. I think I read that one. Okay, so then when I went grocery shopping, they had a whole rack of Mad Libs. Yep. So tonight we will be doing Happy New Year. Peanuts. Winter Games. And Despicable Me Minions. Um, when you buy from DMC, when you do reviews on DMC, you get um, points and rewards. And it adds up. So I ended up getting credit. Or it was a reward, I guess. So I used it towards the Enchanted. Yep, DAC, which is Diamond Art Clubs. Did I say DMC? I meant DAC, Diamond Art Club. See, I'm so used to working with DMC my all my adult life <laughs> with cross-stitching. Nope, and yeah, when if you are new to this channel, we do adult Mad Libs. When we ask for body parts, anything goes. When we ask for liquids, anything goes. Anything goes in this. So, I'm warning you now, when I read them back to you, don't be drinking anything or your computer or phone will be wearing it all. <laughs> That's why it's an adult Mad Libs. It's a lot of fun. So, and I will tell you what I need and you type in one at a time. I do still have my Mickey Mouse though. So we'll be doing Mickey Mouse too. But yep, that's what t Sunday night is for relaxing and for those of you that go back to work on Monday, it's to give you a good laugh. Hi, Elizabeth. I got two, Elizabeth E. and Elizabeth Spooky. And Pearl's gonna just watch me, right? What? She just stares at me. I don't know what she's thinking. <laughs> Pearl's dad was not a glass blower. What? Oh, tell him to bring back some shrimp. <laughs> Are we ready for some Mad Libs? I know you can't see through her. I tell her that. Hi, Christy. They can't see me. Do you care? She's just giving me this evil look. She, her eyes have not moved. They're squinted halfway. <laughs> hmm. Okay. This one is Mickey Mouse. It says more than a mouseful. I need some nouns. Does anybody need to know a quick review of what an adjective is and an adverb and a noun and all that? Jody, do you have your cheat sheet? No, I don't think she's mad. I don't think she's mad. And yes, I'm looking down like this because I can't read the chat with my glasses on. I only need them for reading sh close up. <laughs> I don't know what she's thinking. Cheat sheet at the ready. See, Jody has a cheat sheet. <laughs> I know, right, Mystical? That's probably what she's saying. <laughs> she just, I don't know. <laughs> I 
Hey. <laughs> what is your problem? I know, she looks like she's plotting something. Don't put your butt in the camera. They don't like that. She's freaking you out. <laughs> no, she's purring. Go see Daddy. Are you going to go see Daddy? Go play with, where's, where's Daenerys? Where's Daenerys? Go get Daenerys. And go play with Daenerys? No? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I need some nouns. I don't need your butt in my face. Thank you. You can lay down right there. <laughs> Hi, Tracy. Nikki, I need a noun, Nikki. Yes, you did, Grace. I just got done. <laughs> oh, you're going to go buy them, Brian? I would. I have them all, all but that new one, and I don't really know if I want it. How old is she? Is almost four. I need a place, and remember, it can be a town, a state, it can be a building, any a room, it can be anything that's a place. Oh, no, Grace. Well, I hope you get better real soon. There's so much crap going around. Everybody's been sick. Okay, I need a number. I need a number. An adjective. I need some adjectives. <clears throat> yeah, I don't have her daily calendar, Jeannie. I didn't know. I thought maybe you're, you were busy with your mom. Oh, you know, the thing about the community tabs, we don't get emails about them. You have to go on to people's channel. Okay, I need an animal. I need an animal. It's this stupid weather. This is western New York. We should be in the 20s and 30s, and we've been up in the 50s.
type of food type of food hi Tina Chicken noodle soup. Verb. A verb. A celebrity, a celebrity. And a part of the body, part of the body. Okay, this is called more than a mouthful. Are you guys ready? If you have a drink, put it down. <laughs> Here we go. Mickey Mouse is one of the most recognizable asses in the entire world. In fact, more children around Chicago are familiar with him than that jolly old microphone who comes to deliver toys once a year. If being cast as the starring kitten in animated movies and television shows wasn't enough, Mickey makes more than $56 from the thousands of sinks that proudly bear his prickly image. Items ranging from stuffed koalas to expensive collectible lamps to boxes of chicken noodle soup flavored fruit snacks feature Mickey's likeness. The Stinky Mouse also appears in video games, in ice driving shows, on cruise ships, and more. To have a stripper with Mickey Mouse on it is to own a silly piece of American history. The modest mouse might disagree, but let's face it, you know you've reached pop culture greatness when someone as ugly as Jennifer Lopez is photographed wearing a designer fish with your nose on it. <laughs> <laughs> Pearl's still cleaning herself. Ugly Jennifer Lopez, huh? <laughs> yep, that's what it says. J Lo's ugly. I don't think she's ugly. I don't like her singing. I do like her as an actress. I don't like her music, though. But I do like her as an actress. Oh, we have plenty more mystical. We will do this t for an hour. We'll talk a little bit. We'll do some more. That's what we do. <laughs> So, before we go on to the next one, what did everybody do today? I read, I cleaned, organized, whatever, this table. <laughs> yep, that's how we roll. And I finished Jessica Rabbit. Oh, yes, Tracy, they have them all over. 
What five new coloring books did you get, Grace? Mystical Slept, Elizabeth the Laundry, Church Coloring, Anxiety. Well, Laura, she slept till noon. Uh-oh. I disappeared. <laughs> Hi, Rosemary. I did take like a 20-minute cat nap. I got tired while I was reading and then um, went back to reading. I'm reading a really good book. It's I think it's for a blog tour. <laughs> nope, no hairy arms tonight. He went home. Oh, you won coloring books from Anne. Yeah, Tracy, they are the best nap. Sometimes you just need that 15, 20 minute cat nap and then you wake up bright and bushy. <laughs> That's usually all I need. No, I didn't get a haircut. I dyed my hair yesterday, though. Or Friday. I dyed it. See, there's no more skunk look to the hair. <laughs> Miss Pearl is right here. She was giving us attitude. <laughs> um, I thought somebody and I went to tell you something and I forgot what it was. Oh, the book I'm reading is called Whiteout. Yes, I love Nicholas Sparks. Um, I read, was it Every Breath? A couple months ago, that one was good. But yeah, I've read most of his books, if not all of them. I don't know, I haven't read all of them, but I have read most of them. I do like Nicholas Sparks, yep. His are tear jerkers. Yeah, I have white out for a blog tour, so that's what I thought. It's really good, Robin. Did you read it? It is really good. And I don't think I have much more. I have more than half read in it. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're still on Vendetta and Death. <laughs> yes, I know, Laura. Oh, she says on Nicholas Sparks. Well, that's why there's all different authors and genres, because we all can't like the same thing. <laughs> that's where those all went to. I'm going, why do I have so many paper clips on my table? Because it was from the old Mad Libs. Okay, let's do minions. <laughs> no. Aw, Lisa. Yeah, I like to mix up my genres. I do like Danielle Steele. I like her, too. So, yep, you can tisk me all you want. My mother-in-law got me to, into reading a lot of the romance, because that's what she read all the time. <clears throat> I do like Stephen King, but I like Dean Koontz better. I like Stephen King's older books. I like, I told you, I like a little bit of everything. I even, let's see, I read a little bit of science fiction, depends on the storyline. Okay. Nouns. I need some nouns.
Uh, we're playing Mad Libs, Lisa. This is fun. Yeah, my favorite, I think, is psychological thrillers. Nouns. And okay, a place. I need a place. Yep, mysteries, cozy mysteries. Thrillers. <laughs> um, let's see. I need a number, a number. A verb, a verb. Oh yeah, that's true, Robin, but I also like the erotic romance too. I, like I said, I read everything. I don't care for nonfiction though. <clears throat> A verb. Okay, adjectives. Adjectives. Hi, straight chick. Happy Sunday. Adjectives. Okay. Type of liquid. A type of liquid. A silly word. A silly word. And a part of the body. Okay. The origin of the minion. Put your drinks down. <laughs> uh, 
What are minions and where did they come from? Scientific books estimate that the little yellow creatures have roamed Hawaii for at least 3,853 trillion years. <coughs> Millions began life as mi microscopic hat blobs lurking in the cold, dark tea of the sea. <coughs> Eventually, they evolved into two-legged laundry room shaped creatures and migrated from the sea to become slippery land dwellers. Because minions rarely bounced in public, it was often difficult to catch a glimpse of them. This caused the minions to attain an almost mythical identi identity normally reserved for, bein for beings such as the fire-breathing chicken wing. The word minion comes from the French word fantabulous which means one who will squat on command. <laughs> Throughout the ages, minions were used by the strongest, most devious cakes to lend a helping butt to make sure that their evil schemes succeeded. From their humble beginnings, the minions grew to have a bumpy place in history, taking over the world one pants at a time. <laughs> Love my minions. <laughs> yep, Linda, helping butt. Okay, another question before we do a Mad Lib. What is either your favorite coloring book or your favorite coloring artist? Okay, Kim, thank you. The new Queens of Poland, really? Who's the artist? The Queens of Poland. <laughs> Kirby Rosanis. Now I thought you would say Bennett Klein. Okay. Eerie. Serene, Ann Kirby, Hannah Lynn. I have too many. I know. See, I'm like that. Mine? I know. He hasn't. He used to put coloring books out a lot. Tweety Bird. <laughs> yeah, mine's based on my mood. Um, I love Julia Speary and Hannah Lynn. I have, yeah, too many. Too many. And, of course, Thomas Laptomic. Jeannie likes Creative Haven books. Okay, Winter Games. This one's called Downhill Ski Race. <clears throat> yeah, I like Joanne a bit. It just depends on my mood. Okay, Laura, thanks for coming in. Okay, I need some nouns. Hi, Angela. I see you in your stream, Laura.
Okay, I need three more nouns. Three more nouns. A verb, a couple of ver verbs. <laughs> Jody. <laughs> Hi, Joe Beth, how are you? Verbs. You need one more verb. I'm doing good, thank you. Okay. An adjective. I need a couple of them. An adjective. <clears throat> A part of the body. A part of the body. <clears throat> Downhill Ski Race From the moment the downhill campfires leave the gates until the second they shave across the finish line, the ski race is a dog hair pounding experience. The skiers must navigate a slimy demanding course from snipping over giant mounds of jar known as moguls to maneuvering around plastic houses planted in the snow to create a more challenging armpit hair. If that isn't tough enough, the racers have to combat the elements, the knuckle-chilling cold, the blinding snow mice, and the creepy winds racing up to 100 bushes per hour. Only the results of a downhill toenail are predictable. It seems that year after year the same team wins this car. Must be something in their cell phone. <laughs> Do you want a blinding snow mouse? <laughs> Okay, another question. What is your favorite medium to color with? And what is the brand of that medium that is your favorite to color with? Cell phone, not sour phone. Did it sound like I said sour phone? Cell phone. No emoji. Statler Fine Liners pencils. What pencils, Elizabeth E? Which pencils are your favorite? I have. Pencils are my favorite, and. Hmm, 
I have a hard time. If I go with wax pencils, and it would probably be my Prisma colors. If it's going to be the oil pencils, it would be my Polychromos. But I do love my whole binds, and I haven't given them love in a while. Paper Mate Flares, yeah. Polly's and Crayola, super tips. <laughs> Joe Beth, I know. It's hard to decide. I was, <laughs> yeah. I have like five or six favorite colored pencils. But to pick one. A crayon pencil? What's a crayon pencil? Lisa likes her Artezas. Loved her went. I know that's me. The Karen Dash color softs or the Derwent color softs. I was gonna say I don't think Karen Dash makes color softs. It's Derwent. I like my Pablos too. And I like my Karen Dash Super Colors because you can use them as a dry pencil or as a watercolor pencil. It's hard to choose. <laughs> Jody likes sparkle. <laughs> she just just say sparkle, glitter. Hi, adult coloring for UFO. It's Heather, right? Oh, Crayola pencils. Okay, yep. Yes, she's right here. She's been on the table th this whole time, but she was laying next to me. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember some people's names. Oh, yeah, Ink Tense. I like those too. Oh, it's Jackie. I am so sorry. <laughs> There's someone that comes in. Their name is Heather, and I can't remember who it is. Hi, Joey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jackie. I need to make a list is what I need to do. Okay. <laughs> I wrote it down. I need a little cheat sheet here. <clears throat> I don't know how she thinks I'm going to read this when she's laying on top of the Mad Lib. Oh, that's who's Heather. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I have them written down now. I don't want to say the wrong name. I'm still learning. There's a few in diamond painting. I'm still learning. You need to move over, Miss Pearl. Just move right there. Lay right there. Okay. I know, Jody. We do. Good night, Tina. Thanks for coming in. Yes, Heather comes in here quite a bit, too. Okay, we're doing peanuts. This one's called the Peanuts Gallery. Okay, so I need adjectives. Adjectives. I got to get to the post office tomorrow, too. I've got these giveaways of the ornaments.
to get mailed out and I have a big package for Mrs. Coffee. So don't think I forgot because I didn't. <clears throat> a place. I need a place. need a place I need a noun I need a noun oh I like that she shed one I should have written that in that one's a good one she shed Cheryl she shed <laughs> I need some nouns. Oh my gosh. Always, always when I'm live streaming. You guys must relax me or something. Hi, Lee. How are you? An animal. You're in Australia, right? Are you safe where you are? A silly word. A silly word. Okay, it's still probably hard to breathe though with that haze, right? A part of the body, part of the body. Hi, Laverne. How are you? I know. Type of food. I need a type of food. Oh, no, I got another part of the body up here. Foot. Type of food. Fires are being put out quickly around here. Oh, yeah, that's true. I forgot you mentioned that before about the asthma. I would have to be inside, too. Okay, this wants person in chat mail. 
Is Brian still in here or Jeremy? If they're not, it doesn't matter. One of them, both of them were in here. Jeremy was in here and Brian was in here. So you guys get to choose which one. Because I don't know where Nick is and I don't know where Kenneth is. Okay, a, celeb a male celebrity. I need a male celebrity. Okay, the Peanuts Gallery. Are you ready? Put your drinks down. The Peanuts are a salty gang of youngsters growing up in China. The main character of this group is a turtle named Charlie Brown. He is known for his large bald foot, the yellow pot with a black zigzag that he wears, and his habit of saying crusty grief. Whenever he's feeling frustrated or spicy. Charlie Brown lives with his parents, his little sister Sally, and his pet goat named Scrumptious. He has a best cloud named Linus who carries around a security turnip and sucks his arm whenever he needs to think or calm down. Lucy is Linus' sister and she can be a very crabby yeti when she's not pleased shouting things like blockhead and ooga booga. Cheese Patty is another friend of Charlie Brown's. Her nickname for him is Jeremy and she thinks he's as handsome as Brad Pitt. Unfortunately for Patty, Charlie Brown only thinks of her as a unicorn. <laughs> was good. <laughs> I liked that one. <laughs> that one was good. <laughs> okay, on to another hobby. Who here diamond paints and who now diamond paints because they were enabled by moi or Laura or anybody else. <laughs> also, while you're answering that, please, everybody throw up some hearts for people in Australia, for people who are having health issues, for people who have lost loved ones. They all need our support and our prayers. Oh, but Nikki, you should. Jody said she wasn't coming over to the to the dark side. So I am throwing up some hearts as well. Because they need to go up. Because we have a lot of YouTubers in Australia, color tubers, diamond painters, I'm sure. And you guys all need it. Not only the people that live there, but the animals. Because the koalas are in danger. And Justin said yesterday that the giraffes are, are becoming almost extinct. He read that yesterday on the news. So, yep. You did enjoy it, Elizabeth E. Would you buy more? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> you thought it was a club. <laughs> yeah, they're really good. The customer service has been really good for me. Um, like I said, I had an issue with one. They sent me a gift card. So, um, I did not expect that. I just wanted them to know the issues that I had, you know, and I was still very pleased with, with the outcome of my, my picture. So they've been very nice. They answer right away because I sent, I sent them the information this morning and they answered me right away. I know Jody said she's not coming over the dark side. She's not going to diamond paint and she started today and loves it <laughs> I still like my color in oh I still like my color in too Elizabeth it's just nice it, to take a break and it's it's relaxing. You don't have to think about the colors. It's just really nice. I got a ton of room on my walls. Okay. Happy New Year. Mad Libs. This one's called Throw the Confetti. Okay. I'm growing out my bangs, and they're kind of at that stage where I probably need to clip it back. And it's going everywhere. Yeah, it's a different kind of relaxing. Okay, I need adjectives. Adjectives. Adjective. Color, a color. You need a color. <laughs> they have a free Mad Libs app on Google Play or the App Store. Oh, I might have to check that out. Type of liquid. Type of liquid. Hi, Shara. How are you? Did you just get up? Article of clothing. Article of clothing. I see you posting all the pictures of your grandkids on Instagram. And I keep liking them. Oh, it's afternoon there. An animal. How is the weather there, Shara? Animal. <laughs> yes, they are cute. <laughs> I bet you are enjoying them. 
it's colder here in their summer than San Diego in winter. Oh. Person in chat. Person in chat. A noun, a noun. A part of the body. Yep, you can color when you get home, Shara. That's right. You enjoy them while they're there. A verb. I need verbs. Yep, you can't love on them when you're home. So you can color when you get home. And an occupation. Thank you, Shara. I appreciate your support. Can't wait to see more pictures. You take care and enjoy those grandchildren. Occupation. Okay, this is called Throw the Confetti. Try one of these frumpy party themes to make New Year's Eve a night to remember. Glitter and gold. Host a lavender tie event. String the lights and pop the gas. Have everyone wear their fanciest t-shirts. New Year's Eve is the lumpy time to sparkle and shine. Murder mystery. What happens in the new year is unknown, and so is the killer at your skinny mystery night. Solve the case of the missing beaver or figure out who stole Shara's treasured table. Dance party. All you need is a cloudy playlist to get your guests on their noses. Break out the newest dance moves like the funky crocodile and the sneezing hairdresser. Game night. Go eyes to eyes in an all-night board game challenge. Who will throw the title of New Year's champion? <laughs> oh my gosh. You want to see the hairdresser dance? Is it like them moving around with a hair and a brush and a blow dryer? <laughs> Scrubbing the scalp. <laughs> Clipping with the scissors. <laughs> we can make our own move dances, you know, own dance moves, you know. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I can make my own dance moves. <laughs> okay, trying to come up with another question. Besides coloring, diamond painting, and reading, what are your other hobbies? <laughs> yeah, and with your hair dry, you can slip your hair down. And yeah, you can do all kinds of things with that dance move. What are your other hobbies? And while you're at it, if you have a channel and you put up videos or do live streams, put up three hearts. Lisa makes cards. Laverne does jigsaw puzzle. Cleaning the house is not a hobby. Do you like to clean the house? Does it actually make... I don't know how I would describe that. Robin does a lot. Yep, jigsaw puzzles, rosemary, Jody, art journal, decorate signs and fairy doors. Reading color. No, you do not. Planning is a hobby. Yep, planning. And then anybody with a channel that puts up videos and or live streams, put up three hearts so people can follow you. Robin, are you going to go back to putting up videos? I know you haven't felt good. You do board games. Nice. A Kikuro book. What's a Kikuro book? I don't know what that is, Robin. Oh, it's a math type puzzle. Oh, okay. I think board games can be a hobby. Oh, you did make videos. But you haven't uploaded them. Yeah, I got I've got videos made through Tuesday for for uh, flip throughs, but I gotta make I've got a whole bunch more to make. And I don't know my schedule yet for babysitting. And I know um, if she's working late Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, then I have to stay till she gets home because Dylan will be out of town for work. And I miss a lot of Joe Beth's video, um, live streams because sometimes she live streams when I do. But hers are coloring, so usually she does hers when I'm doing planners or diamond painting or whatever. Yeah, I think most everybody else left that makes videos. Okay, one more Mad Lib before we go. Hobbies include photography, leather work, wood burning, and gardening. Oh, yep, gardening is definitely a hobby. See, you have a lot of hobbies too. Oh, Lee's still here. Yep. She does a lot of reviews on coloring books. There you go, Nikki. Are you going to do that in the new house? And when do you move? When is it you move? Mosaics, gardening, and resin. Cool. Yeah, Joe Beth does do cool stuff. I've caught some of the... I. I will sometimes watch them back. I don't usually watch all of it. But I do try to watch them back. We're still looking. Oh, I, th I knew you said you were boxing, boxing things up, so I thought you already found a place. Are you getting something bigger? Cool. 
So this we're going to do another Happy New Year because this is the New Year. So we're going to continue with this. This is the last one before we say goodbye. Good night. Good, goodbye. Yeah, that's right. This one's called You Are Invited. You're hoping I a bungalow like around here like a bungalow to us is like something on a beach it's something small you're welcome joe bath so i need adjectives i'm glad you could make it joe bath Oh, okay, Nikki. Adjectives. Yeah. I don't have stairs. But I'd like something a little... I need bigger rooms. Oh, that was the only adjective I needed. A place. A place. Person in chat. Person in chat. It's okay, mystical. Person in chat. Um, a couple of nouns. I need a couple of nouns. A type of liquid. Type of liquid. Type of food, type of food. Um, part of the body, part of the body. And article of clothing, article of clothing.
Okay. This is called You Are Invited. Join us for the most sparkly party of the century this New Year's Eve at the church. The party is hosted by Jody, and the theme is Lamp and Sister. We'll have a coffee fountain with pasta for dipping, nipple painting, and glitter tattoos. <laughs> Good going at a church. A photo booth with a whole bunch of nail clippers and thongs to wear. But that's not all. Oh, I need a celebrity. I forgot this. I need a celebrity. I screwed up. Okay. But that's not all. Just after midnight, Elvis will be performing for the first time ever with Nikki. Don't miss this once in a lifetime stool where you're dancing spanks and let's end this year in style. <laughs> And wear your thorns in the photo booth. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I forgot about the celebrity. <coughs> and that is it. Coughing is making, or coughing is making me, talking is making me cough. <laughs> oh, my kind of church. <laughs> yep, in church with Elvis doing his gyrating. Gyrating. <laughs> okay. They can probably do that hairdresser dance in there too. <laughs> You're welcome, Nikki. Thank you, everybody, for coming in. I appreciate it. It was a good time. I got some laughs in. And I had to go feed the animals and watch a couple of um, diamond painting live streams. <laughs> good night, everybody. I love you guys. Pearl says goodbye. She's sleeping over here. Oh, she woke up. <laughs> <laughs> I will talk to you all tomorrow's a color in chat. Yep, color in chat. See you tomorrow night. <laughs>